towards. You know, they started really well and we knew they were going to be physical and take the game to us, but you now we stuck to our sort of structures and you know, we got through our sets and uh, in the end scored a fair few points. Oh, look, uh, obviously, um, yeah, it would have been, been nice to, to uh, I guess, get a better result, but, um, you know, uh, at the end of the day, we are up against a, a pretty formidable Australian side. But, you know, to get that opportunity to be here at Wembley, um, you know, we're definitely up there with uh, the highlights of my career. Yeah, they're, they're big boys, you know. I remember playing them last World Cup and, you know, they're relatively unknown besides Jared Hayne and one or two others. And look at their side now and they're all NRL players and even a couple of young guys coming through, are, you know, they're going to be real, real, real players in the future. So, um, and it's good to see, I heard they got a big grant this week. So fit, uh, hopefully Rugby League takes off over there and that's what the World Cup can do for countries like that. Well, I think it's it's the response that we've had back in Fiji, um, you know, and, and that's that's going to be really special for the next few years and in terms of growing the game. And, you know, there's going to be so many kids now that will want to put on a Fiji Bati Rugby League jersey and, um, and, you know, and they're the future. So that's, I think, the, the, the biggest thing. Um, all in all, though, just amazing experience, you know, uh, coming to England and, uh, and playing in front of these amazing crowds, um, you know, just massive congratulations to uh, the... Uh, uh, the organisers of the tournament. It's just been a huge success and I know from, from for all the players um, it's been uh, an amazing experience. It's been an awesome ride uh, and I just thank you all so much for all your hard work um, and your commitment to this. The, the attack doesn't really matter. Though. We're really pleased about the defence. It's a goal that we had and you know, it's all done now. All the round games and semis are over. It only matters about next week. So it doesn't matter how many points were scored or conceded. You know, we've got to win next week. No, no, it was a pretty disappointing way to finish, but you know, going back on the whole World Cup, it's been a great experience for us. Um, you know, we've we've played really well at times, and um, it's a bit bit dis well, it's not bit, it's really disappointing. We sort of saved our worst performance for last, but you know, full credit to the Kangaroos, they were they were clinical, and um, you know, they, they just they just got dudes who are um, who are always ready for the big stage all the time. You know, we, we, we all work for each other, uh, defend for each other, sort of been our team goal certainly the past three or four weeks is work hard for each other and uh, as I said we weren't concerned about scoring points, we we're concerned about stopping them and you know, uh, you know we go into the, the final well prepared. Uh, you know, everyone loves the underdog story and you know, we, we were ready, we, we were really ready to have a good crack tonight. Um, you know, the first 15 minutes I thought we, we, we did some good stuff um, but just you know, you, our, our turnovers and you know silly offloads to no one they just capitalize big time and um, you know you just can't do that to a, to a, probably one of the best teams in the world it's definitely a highlight of the tour uh, to play here and we're here on Wednesday night watching the soccer so it's, um, you know, it's a, it's a great series of crowds obviously got a lot of history here and um, you know huge privilege and honor to play here just, I'm really proud of uh, the, the effort from the boys unfortunately you know we, we probably played our, our worst game of football on, on the biggest day but um, you know it's a learning experience for our young players and um, uh, you know hopefully you know we'll grow from this and um, you know for the next few years you know most certainly uh, Fiji will be a real force quite emotional you know he's just done so much the last 15 16 years and uh, that's that's the sort of disappointing thing about tonight is he's um, sending him out on on a, on a loss like that but you know, um, Pet, he, he's, he's one of the best players I've ever played with and I can easily say that and he's, what, 36 years old, so, um, you know, I don't, think, I don't think I've played with anyone so inspirational as him. Yeah,